Hi everyone, this is Christine Ferry at the USDA. So I'm going to just um, wait a few, couple of minutes. I also have somebody outside my door vacuuming, so <laughs> you might hear a vacuum for a moment. I have everyone muted. Um, can someone respond that they can hear me? I can hear you. Okay, super. I can hear you. I guess I don't have you muted. Okay, just bear with me one moment. I'm going to record this and send it out to everybody tomorrow for those of people that couldn't join us tonight. Um, wait another couple of moments. And just a reminder, if you're on the call, to um, write your name on in the um, as an attendee. Got some no names there. And at the end, I will unmute you. If I um, don't get to everyone's questions, we can um, unmute everyone and um, answer questions live. Okay, so it's six o'clock and I'll, I'll just go ahead and start. And um, I'm Christine Ferry. I don't know many of you. I just took over from Michelle a few weeks ago. So um, thank you for your patience as we uh, get all these scheduling and um, information out to you. So again, I'm Christine Ferry and I'm the new league manager for uh, Washington DC and Maryland. And tonight you're on the uh, captain's meeting webinar for Maryland Regional 40 and over championships, which is happening this weekend. Okay, so again, um, I'm muting the phones. Um, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to type them. And I'll try and answer them before I uh, turn the, to the next slide. And again, if I don't get to everybody's questions um, at the end, I'll, I'll double check and I can also unmute the phone so I can make sure I'm getting to everybody. I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I just wanna say congratulations to everyone. Um, you and your players for winning your local league and advancing to the 40 and over regional championships and, a, you know, a big thank you to the captains. You know, it's a huge job. I've captained before. It's a, sometimes a thankless job. And um, we at the USTA really appreciate all your time and effort and um, just all your hard work and getting your players together, getting the lineups out and, um, you know, just being the main point person on your team and, you know, just getting everybody organized because it <laughs> requires a lot of organization. And um, don't forget that when you check in to regionals and um, there's a captain's gift for you. So come up to our tournament table when you're picking up your packet and we'd like to um, give you a thank you because without you guys, we wouldn't have our league. So thank you very much. and. Um, We'll go on to, while I'm saying thank yous, just to let you know that Penn is supplying all of our balls for the 40 and over regionals. So when you can, please help support Penn since they're you know, um, giving us the balls for the championships. So um, again, I wanna thank you for organizing your team and getting everybody registered. Uh, I know it's um, just one more step that you have to do, but we have the captains register each team. 
and we also have your players uh, also register. So if any of if anybody has any questions about who is registered on your teams, you can always send me an email, and I'm happy to go into the form and print out the list of your players that are registered to play on Friday. And also, uh, we're going to be taking lots of pictures uh, during the event, and we're going to be posting them up on our social media, mainly Facebook and our website. And also, your players can feel free to share their photos with us, and they can tag each other on Facebook. Oh, here we go. I'll I saw that you guys have questions. Yeah. Paying attention. Okay, so Jennifer wants to know if I know our players are self registering. Is there a place we can go and see it? So I think I just covered that. You can't see it, but I'm happy to go in and let you know. I can email me first at fairy at mas.usta.com. You should have my email. I sent out the schedule to you on it. And I'm happy to um, go in and run a report and let you know who's registered. It's also a waiver and um, it also lets us contact everybody in case we have to, you know, change locations because of rain. And Tim wants to know if there's a wild card team this year. And yes, I will get to that later on in the slides. So again, the um, 40 and over schedule has been uh, given out to the captains and it's also posted on our site. At this point, um, we don't anticipate any changes. If we do, captains will be notified as quickly as possible. So um, you can make sure your players know where to go and uh, what to expect. I'm keeping my eye closely on the weather. I'm hoping for sunny skies the entire weekend. So let's just um, have my fingers crossed. And um, this weekend we're going to be playing at Wild Lake and Owen Brown. And those are both in Columbia. And the packet that you received should have maps. And I'm sure many of you know where these are already. And um, so Owen Brown will only be utilized on Friday and Saturday. And all of our semifinals and finals will be held at Wild Lake on Sunday. This is just a map of the Wild Lake Tennis Club, and this is where we'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can see that um, they have their main courts. I think there's 11 courts in the main section, and we can also use four of the high school courts. Uh, there are There is water on these courts. They bring in water in the morning. But it's good not to depend on that. Just you know, have your players bring drinks, and I'll get to that in a few moments but um, they do bring out cold containers of water every morning. And the other location is Owen Brown Tennis Club. And um, this is a view from the top. The tennis bubble is no longer there. So um, it's the smaller facility and we'll be using this Friday and Saturday. Okay, so next we're gonna go through the rules of play. There's a lot of information here and Feel free to um, type in any questions along the way or just keep a note of your question and we'll go over it at the end. So um, most importantly, make sure your players bring a photo ID with them. It could be a driver's license or a passport. Players um, will be asked to show their ID and uh, when they check in at the tournament, when they come up to um, captains check in at the tournament desk, but when players come up to um, get the balls, they, they will be asked for their ID. Uh, also, captains, make sure that the players that you are putting in have played two local league matches. Uh, a, one default will count as um, two local league matches played, so um, make sure that they are eligible to play in this event. And um, when captains arrive, they should check in on the first day, 45 minutes ahead of their first match. And 45 minutes before your first match, so if your match is at 8 a.m., please be at the tournament desk at 7.15 a.m. And there you'll receive your pre-printed match lineup cards. And um, you'll also pick up your captain's gift and your player's gift. 
uh, players, you'll receive 12 players gifts. I believe that they are towels and um, your captain's packet. And uh, lineup cards. What's important that these are due at the tournament desk no less than 30 minutes before the scheduled match. So please make sure to hand them in. If your match is scheduled for 8 a.m., you can go on at 7.30. We're going to try and, you know, get everybody on the court so we can hopefully beat any afternoon thunder showers. And um, when you Print out the line, when you sign in your players on the lineup cards, make sure you print clearly and use the name that, um, that the players use on Tennis Link. Please don't use any nicknames because when we're entering scores, it's, um, it's a lot of work to try and track down you know, who, you know, someone's nickname. So please use the full name. And there is a desk at the tournament desk. And there, there's obviously a desk. There's a clock also there. And that's what we'll use as the official timepiece for the tournament. So again, if you are late, there could be a fine. But let's, let's not be late. We are, we are going to run on time and have a good tournament. So, um, Again, I just went over this about 30 minutes before your scheduled match start time is when lineup cards are due. And the example is if your match is at 8, you could go on at 7.30. If your match is at noon, you could go on at 11.30. So just be prepared to go on 30 minutes sooner. When we call the matches, players should come up to the tournament desk with IDs and prepare to go on to the court which means they have to be ready to go, shoes on, go to the bathroom before the 30-minute call, and um, just be prepared to walk out on the court and play. Um, there are penalties for lateness. If your players are late, if you have a player that's five minutes or less late, they will lose the toss and they will lose one game. If they're between 5.01 and 10 minutes late, they lose the toss and then they also have to give up two games. Between 10 minutes and one second to 15 minutes late, you lose the toss and three games. And any more than that, you default the match. So again, just get your players there early. And okay, and we're gonna go through some more rules of play. Um, just so you know, order of play, it starts out as one singles, then number two doubles goes on. And this is as um, courts become available. Then we you know, we start number one doubles, number two doubles, and then number three doubles. If you have to default a line, it will occur from the bottom up. So that would be number three doubles or number two singles would default first. Um, the format is regular scoring. You're gonna play a full match. You're gonna play two full sets. And if you need a third set, it's going to be a match 10 point tie break. So a 10 point tie break in lieu of the third set and we use the Komen tie break. Players can warm up. Um, they're allowed a five minute warm up. And um, again, it's, it's strict. We, have a, we, we do have officials out there who are timing them. So you get a, a five minute warm up and then you have to start play. And as a reminder, just no coaching during the match. No coaching is allowed at all. And if you can remind your players to call the score very clearly before serving, the server should call the score and please call it before the serve. And this is very important when the match is completed, tell your players to go to the tournament desk to bring back the balls and report their scores. And it really helps to have both teams come to the desk. I uh, don't have one team go and watch another game that's going on because we need both both teams to verify their scores. And at the very end of the entire match, after all your five lines have played, if the captain or the team rep for the captain can come up and sign the scorecards, so we know that everything is correct and you agree with the scores. So some more reminders. Um, again, parking is limited, so um, have your players carpool to the event. Again, even though there is water on the court, players should bring extra water, um, ice, snacks, 
a chair, anything that they're going to need throughout the day. And I, when I say ice, we always we often have people coming up looking for ice at these events, and we don't have any ice. The the part we have a, a trainer who will have ice for injuries, but we don't give out ice, and there's no ice maker on site. So if you if it's going to be hot and you want to you know wrap ice up in a towel, please remind your players to bring you know ice snacks. Uh, Gatorade, anything that they want to have, because it does get hot, and um, you know we we only have so much. We do keep some snacks up at the tournament desk. Come on up, take bananas. But um, on the whole, please just come prepared um, with your all your snacks. <laughs> There's going to be scorekeepers on each court, so players don't need to bring those. Score tenders. Oops, my thing's flying away. And also. Um, and also, if um, any team should not leave the tournament until they're done playing all their matches. So um, teams departing prior to the completion of all their matches may be disqualified from play next year. So if you're, you know, tired, don't want to play anymore, don't don't leave the tournament. It's not fair for the other teams. Okay. And um, also keep in mind that uh, we do run uh, dynamic, dynamic ratings during this event. So um, players who are self-rated, they have an S next to their rating or A, which means they've been adjusted up or down. Um, we will be running um, the rate dynamic rating so they could get a third strike. And if that happens, we will notify the captain as soon as possible. So winners and finalists will all receive uh, 12 awards and um, you can for your team. And um, also please don't leave until you've had your picture taken. So we want to keep get a team photo of all the winners and all the finalists, which will be on Sunday. So I mentioned that there's a tournament referee. We have a main um, on-site referee and we are, we will have a couple of roving officials at each place so they will they go around there there to help you if you need an official to help with a rule or handle a situation or an issue uh, players are allowed to stop play and they can ask for an official to come to their court so um, also as a reminder only players can ask for the official and um, spectators a captain who's not playing in that match cannot ask for an official. It has to be from the players playing. And they will they will come by and um, help out the players if there's a question or to be clarified. So this is the question about wild card. So um, the 40 and over Section Championship will be in Newport News, uh, September, the middle of September, the 14th through the 16th. And um, I don't think information is up on our website yet, but it will be shortly. So uh, the top teams, only first place teams, and 3-0 women, 3-5 women, 3-5 men, and 4-0 women will advance to sectionals. And um, the teams that got a wild card, which means the first and second place teams that advance to sectionals will be the 3-0 men, the 4-0 men, the 4-5 women, and the 4-5 men. Oh, that's a big thing. Weather updates. <laughs> It's gonna be sunny, right? <laughs> We're gonna have sun. Um, but if, if, if anything should happen, if we should get rain during your play time, uh, have your players come right to the tournament desk with their balls and wait for instruction on how to proceed. The players, tell the players that they have to write down the score and who was serving. This is if they have to stop in the middle of their match. Write down the score and write down who was serving. And we can help with that at the tournament desk. There will be a form there, and um, we'll we put it with the balls in a container. 
Uh, we have the option at the desk to either wait for the rain to stop and dry or to move indoors. We don't know, um, you know, right now, I, every time I check the weather, it's a little bit different. Currently, there's a chance of an afternoon shower late in the day, but, you know, um, you know I, it keeps changing. So I don't, as of now, I'm prepared to play it all outside. Um, if anything happens and um, we have to move indoors, the schedule could be revised. Uh, we could also shorten the format, but we will decide that as it happens. Um, only captains should stay close to the tournament desk for more information. We don't want all the teams to hover around. It's kind of chaotic when it starts to rain. Um, players should move away from the tournament desk and wait somewhere dry. And um, we'll have to talk about it and decide where to go and um, make sure we have dry indoor courts to send you to, which we do, which we will. It just takes a little organization. Uh, we have um, weather updates available on our Facebook page, and you can sign up for text messages on rainbout.com, and I'll go into that for a moment. But again, we appreciate everyone's calmness <laughs> when it does start to rain, and it always works out. People move indoors and finish their matches inside. So again, if you want to register on rainedout.com, you can go on, it's a website, um, and you can um, go to rainedout.com, and there's a, there's a little search button. You can type in USTA Mid-Atlantic, and uh, type in your phone number or email. And it doesn't send you constant updates, it's more I send out the updates. So if there is like rain in the morning and we're moving indoors, that is one place where I will send out email, but I will also email, uh, yeah, I could send out messages that way, but I will also directly email the captains. So just a reminder to have all your players take lots of pictures and share them with us and they can go on our Facebook page and um, tag each other and we can share photos and everyone can add to their fun memories for regionals. And just a reminder, with all these rules and regulations, don't forget to have fun. This is a great event. It really brings teams together. It's a lot of fun. Um, so, so I just can't stress enough. Don't forget to go out there and, and you know, just have a good time also and be a good sport because um, it's, you know, it's why we play tennis. And um, also uh, we do have up at the tournament desk, we have a binder. So if you're, you see your opponents, um, you know, showing great sportsmanship, you can come up and recommend them and somebody, a couple of people will receive gifts for good sportsmanship. Okay, well, that's all I have. And um, I'm just going to check if anyone emailed any, anyone, if anyone put any chat messages in here. Can you please email your PowerPoint? Yeah, I can share the PowerPoint, Tim. I'm also going, well, what I'm going to do is um, I can share, I'm going to share the GoToMeeting with people. And that is the PowerPoint. So this will be sent out either tonight, depending on how long it takes to download, or tomorrow morning. And I'm going to um, unmute the phone in case anybody has any questions that they don't want to type and would rather chat. So give me one second. Okay, I unmuted the phone. I don't know if, um, if people want to take turns. Um, oh, there's another question that just came in. If it's indoors during rain, would it? Where would it be? We don't know yet. It all depends on what's open. We don't know if we have to pay, pay to pre-book courts, but we will organize that as it happens. If it's looking closer to rain as we move towards the end of the week, um, I will have a better idea. Oh, and there's a question: on How do we notify your desk that we have an acting captain? You just tell us that check in. You know, I'm Bob Smith, and I'm going to be the captain for Anna Rundle or whatever. It's fine. Um, it's not a problem. The, the captain can't make it. That's not a problem. What happens if one of our players is not registered by the day of the tournament? Um, 
we can register them there. I would just prefer not to because it's crazy busy. Um, and it can fall through the cracks. So if you could just get them signed up beforehand, but it's really, it's not the end of the world. We can take care of it there. Uh, we do ask that people are up to date with their, I'll be running a report later this week, but they must be current USTA members. So if their membership expired at the end of July, um, they're not members. So have your players check uh, their memberships that they're good to the end of August. And we can check that when they check in too. And we can, you, you, they could, um, if they're not, if their membership expired, we'll have access to the internet, and they can, um, they can update their USTA membership. Oh, can you please review the dynamic rating for self-rated players? Don't know what that means. Dynamic rating is every time you play a match. Any, anytime, self-rated or computer-rated, your rating changes. You don't have access to that. Um, it's just what happens if you, you know, beat somebody. Your rating goes up. Your rating goes down if you lose. But it, it's all, it's all a big algorithm done inside the USTA computer. The problem with self-rated players is because they're self-rated, they are by great amounts. They can, um, and they're self-rated too low they can get qualified and that affects your team because if they get three strikes your team um their matches won't count during during play so that that's why it's like just be careful that you're you know that that that's if that happens we notify the captain and we'll let you know but most players if you have a self-rated player on the team you know um most of you some of you do some of you don't so Okay, somebody said 40 over league is not listed on rainedout.com. I'll check into that. Make a note. Somebody needs to mute their phone. Sorry? Everyone's live now. Okay, I'll check into that and I'll get make sure that 40 over is is in the rainedout.com. Oh, is it? We have a question. Is it possible to get replacement balls if you lose one over the fence or one rolls in a puddle? It's not going to be any puddles, <laughs> but um, it's not going to rain. <laughs> but yes, if you lose a ball, um, come up to the track to get one, or you can yell over to one of your players and you go get us another ball. Yes, you can get replacement balls. Do we have any more questions? Okay, I don't see any more in the chat. If anybody wants to ask any live, if not, um, I'm up here. I'm, I'll be sending this out to everyone tomorrow. If you want to share with your team um, or just look through the PowerPoint slides, all the information's in the slides. So no more questions? No. Okay, super. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Thanks for popping on and good luck. Have fun, and we'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.